All right, next up we are going to Beverly Hills uh, to the Popple office. They've got this mansion up there. What's up guys, it's Justin, your favorite founder's favorite founder, back at it again. We are here in LA and we're going to visit some of my favorite founders down here and check out how they run their businesses. We go to three companies today. Number one is my friend James Bashar's company, Magic Mind, uh, which makes an amazing energy drink supplement uh, that I take every morning. Number two, we're gonna go to my friend Rad's company, Intro, which allows you to meet anyone uh, and schedule a, an appointment with any expert. Three, we're gonna go to Popple, who it's like a digital business card replacement, and uh, these guys are a lot of fun. They've got this mansion in Beverly Hills that they all work and live out of. All right, let's go see what's up. Uh, what's up guys? I'm here with James Bashar, founder of Magic Mind and a close personal friend of mine. Okay, so give us the high level, like what is Magic Mind? Uh, tell us about the company. The product itself is a, it's a little two ounce shot that gives you six, seven hours of flow state throughout the day. You take it alongside your morning coffee or in place of your morning coffee, whichever you want. And then you should be in flow state within about 20 minutes and you're just cruising for the rest of the day. How did you come up with Magic Mind? It was about 10 years ago, I was going from the doctor's office to the ER um, from a heart condition I developed from drinking too much coffee, six to seven cups. Every cup of coffee, every energy drink I was drinking that's chock full of caffeine was spiking my cortisol. It spikes, that's what caffeine does. It spikes our cortisol, our body's stress hormone. So long story short, Ended up going way down the rabbit hole on everything nootropics, adaptogens, functional mushrooms, and never thought in a million years that I'd start a beverage uh, company. I was always you know, building software with you. There's a lot that I miss about software, the scalability, like these can, you know, they can go bad. You can have production runs that go, that miss an ingredient. It's all kinds of wild, weird things that in food and beverage you, um, you learn and pay expensive lessons for, but I also love just having a physical product to hold, um, and I love that it's you can give it to someone and and they can be like, holy shit, I feel it. And, yeah, and you just don't, those are some things you don't get with with software. Yeah. But yeah, I've I've loved becoming this um, beverage entrepreneur and, and using a lot of startup software. All of the things that we learned through Y Combinator, through our friends showing us like their efficiencies to not only make the best product possible, but also make a company that I absolutely love. Amazing, awesome. Yeah. Okay, let's go check out some let's stores and stuff. Yeah. Let's do it. All right, we're gonna go with James <laughs> to check out one of his uh, channels, one of the stores he sells in called Little Lunch in Venice. Magic latte. The magic latte. It's good. It's good. I would order it again. How many magic wines can you drink in one day? Because this is my third. Yeah, yeah. You might want to uh, nurse that. Okay. Um, all right. Two is probably a healthy mass. All right. We're going to my friend Rad's home office, and uh, we're going to check out how he runs his business uh, remotely as well. All right, guys, I'm here with my friend Brad, uh, from founder of Intro, multi time entrepreneur, and uh, we're going to talk about his setup. First, introduce Intro. What are you guys doing? Okay. We have business experts, we have interior designers, so you can book like the most famous interior designers in the world. Yeah. Uh, like celebrity stylists, wellness people, like you know, like you could book the fitness instructors or the people who work with like celebrities to make them like crazy fit. These are calls to like try to, 
you know, for you to get personalized one-on-one -on -one advice from them. Yes. Yeah, yeah exactly. What That's, are people's favorite experiences on it? I think definitely like the home experiences because you can like show like Nate Burkus, who's like Oprah's interior designer, okay. like your home. Like I showed him my home and he helped me and set this all up. All right. Okay. People yeah. You like, can get a lot of value from that. Right? Oh my God. It's like better than a college education. I mean, my personal story, like I met the founder of Kinko as Paul Orfla. I, my friend pointed him out. I went up to him. It was like, like the most, on the street. On the street, I was like, he's like, that's the founder of Kinkos. Yeah, they just he had recognized him because he read an article about him. And he was kind of like locally well known. Yeah, what? And where was this? In Santa Barbara. Okay. And yeah. I don't know what got into me. This is like the most confident I've ever been. But I went right up to him. I tapped him on the shoulder. He was with like thirty people, <laughs> and I said, "Hi, Mr. Orfla. I hear you're the founder of Kinkos. Uh, I, I'm a young aspiring entrepreneur, and I was wondering if I could ask you a question or two about entrepreneurship." This is like real life intro. Yeah, and okay. he loved it. He was okay. like, "Yeah, was let's like sit balls down." Balls on this kid. Hell yeah. Yeah, here, yeah. And we sh we sat down, and in fifteen minutes, I learned more about entrepreneurship than I ever learned before. I was so inspired by this person. And then he asked me a question that made me like really just believe in myself. And he's yeah. like, when are you going to become an entrepreneur? And so I, are you going to, but when? Yeah, and when. And, uh, and so since then, you know, I stayed in touch with them and, and, uh, and then I went on to, you know, build QuickBooks online and, yeah. and so I sold my company into it. So like I, and he was the first person I called when I did that. Anything? Like yeah, that? yeah. Yeah. Um, so we launched last November. Since yep. then we've done 15,000 sessions. Okay. Um, we raised a pretty substantial round from Andreessen and Horowitz and 776, which is Alexis nice. Ohanian's fund. Our growth just keeps going up. Not bad. And uh, not bad. That's what happens when uh, some people call it product market fit. Because people love our product so much, I call it product market love. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, yeah, it's just been really fun. And we've been growing the team and really grateful to do it in a weird, interesting, remote way. All right, next up, we are going to Beverly Hills uh, to the Popple office. They've got this mansion up there. Kind of cool startup uh, place to work. So we're gonna go check it out and see what they're up to. And that's it. So we're here with Popple, with the uh, Nick, the co-founder of Popple, and I love these guys because they they turn this mansion in Beverly Hills into their office. An intro of like what mm -hmm. Popple is. Um, Popple is the next generation business card. We are changing the way people connect. So instead of swap, sw swapping business cards or swapping phones and typing in, all you have to do is tap one of our products to the back of their phone to share your information, and they can instantly connect back with you. And the reason we're doing this is because you never know who you're going to meet in life who's going to no. change your life for the better so our mission at popple is to help you meet as many people as possible because you never know who's going to change your life tell us about like how you one of the things that's pretty cool about the companies you've been transitioning to this digital subscription right yeah that's like, oh, tell us about the transition to being like a digital product yeah so the hardware part is how we started and yeah. you're right um, but the software is where we really stand out from all of our competitors and where we give our true value to our customers because the hardware is just, how do I get my info on your phone? Yeah. But then the software part is, how do you connect back with me? How do I get a reminder to follow up with you? And so we're building out the software ecosystem that makes Popple stickier and more valuable to our users. And um, you guys started off when you were right out of college, right? Or Yeah, yeah, it was like six months after graduation we decided to start Okay, this. so like, what's tell, for someone who is in your guys' position, what's something you wish you knew? You know, that, that, something you know now that you wish you knew back then? I wish I knew. Well, we had no idea what we were getting into when we started <laughs> this. Like, it was just... That might I, be good, though, right? Yeah, like it's, it's, and it's great, because like it's, our expectations are, are blown away pretty much every day. And I think when we, when we first started this, we had no idea what it would become. And it was just me and Jason and Jeremy just selling products, thinking, oh, we got a, we got a cool hardware product, and it was like a TikTok viral product. Yeah. Um, but I wish we had focused more on software in the beginning. Yeah and like really leaned into that because our subscription model is like growing really quickly. And if we had started that a year before, we'd be even bigger than we are today. It wouldn't change anything. I just wish I had, we had focused more on the software earlier. Amazing. Some yeah. of my favorite startups in LA. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. 
If you didn't, you got what you paid for. Smash subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll be your best friend forever. See you guys later.